Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here and welcome back to another episode of the Daily Crypto News. And today, we're taking a good look at Cardano ADA and some breaking news that's going out and about in the crypto space. So let's quickly go over the articles that we want to cover in this video and then do our analysis, you know, give our news, give our opinions and everything like that. Uh, so ADA said to conquer new grounds after big leadership addition at the Cardano Foundation. At the same time, the Cardano creator, Charles Hoskinson, revealed a really cool upcoming project, outlines bigger problems that crypto solves. To stay in the same narrative, we're also going to cover this right here. Apparently, Cardano is planning to launch another decentralized exchange in February, as per latest update from the team. And also, this I think is most exciting, ADA is going to explode! CCV founder reveals why Cardano is the biggest sleeping giant in crypto. Then our non-Cardano related articles are Elon Musk hinting something very juicy for Doge and I think this has already officially been confirmed. We're also taking a look at Russia and their policy towards crypto which is definitely interesting. All right. So first of all, what's going on with the Cardano ADA price? And by the way, I'm sorry if the camera doesn't focus properly. Apparently, I just need to buy myself like one of those freaking lights, you know, where it just blasts white light in your face. Because uh, if, if I pull up this, you can see, no worries. No, If I go back to this screen, it sometimes gets a little bit blurry because it doesn't know where to focus properly. Uh, having said that, you guys get to stick through it. ADA right now, just sitting right below a dollar at about 99 cents. I've actually heard quite a lot of people talk about some sort of short squeeze, which should be coming up for ADA, which again, mostly is the case because the price has been on a decline for the longest amount of time. And I must admit, for a lot of people, it's been really hard to hold ADA through this entire endeavor because it just kept going down lower and lower and lower. And for the longest time, people claimed that Cardano should be going up purely because their approach is better than the others. And even though they don't have the tech just quite yet, it's coming. The reason it's going down right now, however, is because a lot of people have been holding through for the longest amount of time and they're not seeing the results which really make Cardano stand out. My rebuttal to that is to say, well, you've stick with Cardano for years, most likely. And I mean, I bought it at a cent or two cents. I think the majority of my, of my, my, my I guess my chunks. So I'm not really worried. I'm pretty chilling, I would say. Then again, I can't understand from some side, but I also get a counter and say, well, they are doing quite a lot. If you're thinking, oh, they're just sitting on their asses, well, they're not. So I might be misinformed, maybe I'm not doing my job properly enough to give you guys all the ADA news because to be honest with you, it is pretty exciting. It's just a different approach than what a lot of other fancier looking projects might say, but the actual underlying numbers I think are pretty significant. Then again, it also depends on your own perspective. You know, we're in a pretty bearish market. Most cryptos fell about 50%. Cardano is down about 66% or so from its all-time high, if I'm not mistaken. Is it really that bad? It's, again, a matter of perspective. It really is. You know, Cardano has a different course than a lot of others. And you might also say that Cardano should actually up their marketing. You know, Crypto.com, for example, with the Kronos, is doing a significant amount better. Well, again, it all depends on your perspective. It all depends on what you want. It all depends on longevity as well. Short term, Cardano might not be the craziest of leaders, but they're trying their best, at least in my opinion. Again, guys, these videos are not financial advice. This is just my opinion, my thoughts. So, ADA said to conquer new grounds after big leadership addition at Cardano Foundation. I am not going to lie to you. I don't know too much about this guy, this individual at all. Apparently, a new guy, Fernando Cao, came in. He's been working at uh, SBI and been working for a long time at the Japanese telecom giant NTT. But as I've already stated a couple of times in my videos, it is hard to say whether or not a addition to the board, which is what he's doing now, will actually have any difference because regardless of where your previous position was, it actually does not per se you know, necessarily mean anything for the future. So even if you see X Google, X uh, whatever, Yahoo, X Netflix, X Twitter, what does that mean? Nothing. They have experience? Maybe. It doesn't even have to be that way. And theoretically, he could just have been hired and fired the day after. You could still put in your bio, ex-Twitter, ex-Google engineer. Wow, you know, he worked for 16 seconds and he's an ex-Google engineer. I mean, officially it's true. doesn't mean you know anything. Maybe you're really good at interviews, you know, you, you BS your way inside. I know there's a couple of checks, but you guys get my drift. It doesn't mean they actually have that crazy of an experience. They might, for example, be really good theoreticals. So they, for example 
um, know in theory what's really proper to do, but then have no actual skills to make something be done. Uh, then again, it's not a CEO position or anything like that, so it doesn't really matter. It's just a board seat, so theoreticals are, are I guess, the most important. But hopefully you guys get my drift that we don't know the innovation that he will bring. We just know that he is very well wanted. A lot of people are really excited about him. And there's a couple of, um, of, of people out there who are really excited, for example, the Cardano Foundation CEO as well. The board plays an integral role in providing guidance and oversight for the Cardano Foundation. Fernando has a distinguished track record in business and software development. And his expertise adds another layer to our prestigious board. He will be an invaluable asset to us as we continue to advance our efforts and scale our operations. All right, then the creator, Charles Hoskinson, reveals a really cool upcoming project, outlines biggest problem crypto solves. So, Hoskinson says that an Africa-focused peer-to-peer lending project will be launched on the Cardano blockchain this year. And he basically says that crypto is supposed to narrow the gap between the developed and the developing world. And that that's going to be, you know, where the, not necessarily real money, but where the real value is being created. And I guess a lot of us in crypto, they, they don't work with, you know, literal monetary value of something. It's mostly the, the value in lives it can change, I would say, or lives it impacts. Another thing that I think is really cool on the horizon we're doing this year is that we're finally able to do peer-to-peer -peer lending into Africa. We'll be able to demonstrate along with a stable coin on Cardano done completely peer-to-peer -to, -peer to a blockchain-based identity in Kenya. Now, according to Cardano Creator, the peer-to-peer -peer lending project on the seventh largest blockchain market cap will help in narrowing income and wealth inequalities among countries. So, again, very ambitious. The long and short is if you get that done, in short order, billions of dollars of value will go from the developed world to the developing world where the interest rates are higher. That gets me very excited because that helps us bridge the gap and create that one global economy as opposed to two economies of, uh, of the haves and the have-nots. He also says that the trustless nature of blockchain is one of the technology's biggest contributors to the world. And this concept of inclusive accountability, your ability to verify something someone tells you, there are so many things in life from credentials to voting to money where you actually find out that you're actually trusting a third party institution. You're not actually able to verify that. Uh, and Bitcoin is a great example. Ethereum, Cardano, or any of these crypto where you have inclusive accountability for the accounting. If I send you a Bitcoin, you don't trust me. You have a node, you can check it and you can verify it exists and you, uh, it hasn't been double spent. So that's called an inclusively accountable system. And again, that's basically what he's been going on for. I kind of wanted to play a little video as well, where Charles Hoskinson talks about this himself. But at the end of the day here, I don't think you need it. I think his words are pretty easy to kind of um, filter through here. And again, he takes this really far into medical information and everything like that, voting information and everything. And again, I have described this a couple of times on my channel. Cardano is doing a really risky move right here. Honestly, the African market and the way in which they're going for it, I don't think that's where the most amount of money lies. It's where the most amount of impact lies. But that might be yet another reason why the Cardano value is not as spectacular as you might think. Any project that's trying to tackle a market where there's less money and more impact, basically, it's good for the world. Not necessarily good for Western pockets. It's a difference key difference actually so let's say for example we are talking about working with the governments like in ethiopia for example like cardano has been trying i would say that again from a uh philanthropical perspective amazing you know really good you can't say anything negative about it however an investor might look at it differently thinking okay so where exactly does the money model lie if the government has to pay for it they might not want to so you're kind of doing it like on a free type of basis or a, you know a helpful type of basis so then the, the people potentially might have to pay for it but they don't really have a lot of money because you're trying to help them so where exactly do the do the profits come from or why exactly would be you know so you guys hopefully get my drift there we can debate about this for a long time you might say well but the money comes in the value that yes and no I think more people just like the um, the different side where you, for example, really heavily focus on you know more developed areas, so you, you just see the return on your money a little bit quicker. This is a longer term project, which is a, a real problem solver, but it's less easy to see in people's hands, you know, straight away. At least my opinion. At the end of the day, though, they're also doing a lot of other stuff. You know, Cardano's developer community, I guess, is is pretty severe, and they're expanding significantly. I would say they're just a little bit slower than many people expected. And the, the, the catch on wave was a little bit less severe than also was expected. Is it bad though? Not at all. They're doing a good job. And again, it just takes time to build things specifically because again, the layer one race, Cardano is a little bit late to the party, 
but they're trying to do it differently than others and more sophisticated. So, you know, give them some time and hopefully they'll be able to catch up. And here's just another one announcement that's, I guess, juicy for Cardano. You know, good to see. And then, of course, the most exciting article for Cardano today. I'm happy about this one. Cardano is, is going to explode. CCV founder, CCV founder reveals why Cardano is the biggest sleeping giant in crypto. Yeah, that's exactly what I want to see. So Dan Gambardello said, many people simply don't understand what Cardano is doing. Cardano is built to provide decentralized financial infrastructure on a global scale. This is huge, bigger than what most are focused on right now. ADA is the biggest sleeping giant in crypto. It's going to explode. My thoughts on this statement. I completely agree with him, but there's a way off that you need to make. So even though I honestly do believe Cardano is set to explode in terms of price, there needs to be some sort of, you know, you have all your gunpowder, you have all your fundamentals, all your, your wood where you store the gunpowder and whatever, you still need to spark, right? And so we might say, yeah, but they're, you know, creating more and more gunpowder by getting all these partnerships in Africa done. True, for sure, for sure, for sure. But where exactly is that spark, which is going to light everything on and, and get the, you know, the, the big explosions going on? That's, again, pretty difficult to say. I would say that one of the biggest sparks could be the newest APOC or EPOC, whatever you want to pronounce that as, for Cardano, where they get into a new phase or some new sort of announcement, and then all of a sudden things sort of kind of bundle on top of each other. But that's not really realistic because people are not really buying um, massively into this idea of a crazy decentralized financial infrastructure that they're building because of one new epoch. So maybe mass marketing then? Maybe. You know, I'm just throwing up some theories here. It's hard for me to say as well. I just know that fundamental-wise, Cardano is definitely one of the most solid projects out there. Founder-wise, the philosophical approach, I would say the peer-reviewed approach of doing not first but proper, I always stand by. Again, it's just hard to say exactly what's going to be that spark that's going to light up Cardano just now to finally get it rolling on the pace that it should be at. Uh, Cardano's founder, Charles Hoskinson, has been wrong a couple of times. For example, he said he believed. I remember, you know, when you're doing crypto for as long as I have, you start to notice a couple of trends and things. And what you also, I guess, remember is things that people have said in the past. One of the things that I remember really clearly, just two actually of them. Charles Hoskins is saying that he believes that bull run like we saw it back then in 2017. This is a 2018, I think, that he said this. It's going to take another 10, 11 years to, to come around again. But he also said that he believes Cardano is going to be the first trillion dollar project. Both of those were false. And from that perspective, I kind of think, mm, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to predict all this crypto stuff because it's so new. And the only thing you can kind of predict is exactly how efficient you're going to be in your sector. As at this point, he, he kept on uh, to his promises of changing things and, and doing Cardano in the way he, which he said. You might be saying, oh, it's slower than expected. No, it's, I think it's on a good pace. It's doing well. And at the end of the day doing their best they're doing good you can't really say too much negative about it you can only say it is not going as fast paced as people would have liked okay but it's doing good really it is from a fundamental perspective so again to conclude we're waiting for one specific spark which is going to be the new light point in in the cardano holders eyes is there a lot happening yeah are there a lot of incentives to start building yeah are people building yeah is it good fundamental wise the whole the whole ecosystem yeah are they doing something really good for the world? Yeah. Is the price reflecting that? No. Do we have some good theories behind why it's not reflecting that? I would say yes. Again, it's just not exactly the incentive uh, for the Western that a lot of the other projects have. And also in terms of innovation, Cardano is doing things well, but the peer-reviewed approach makes them slower. And that again makes me realize or think that people are not hoarding as much into Cardano in a FOMO type of way because they're just buying it for the fundamentals. And we can kind of talk about this for hours right now. Let's just say it like this. Cardano is on a really good pace. A lot of things lined up for 2022. It's going really properly, and they have a really beautifully taught out plan that I really support to the core. And that's uh, about everything you need to know for right now, guys, I think. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you press the like button. We have to quickly get into our Elon and Russia stuff. Elon Musk hints Doge may be used as a payment at Tesla charging stations in the future. A couple of y'all have stated before that it's actually already happening. I saw a lot of y'all over on Twitter state, oh, Dusty, but it's already happening. He, he actually confirmed it. He said that, this, that. I don't actually care, to be honest with you, you know? Actually, I don't care. It said here, 10 minutes after the new Santa Monica supercharges opened, and they're already almost full. And futuristic dinner, dinner and drive-in theater planned for Hollywood area. And, of course, you can pay in Doge. 
I honestly think it's going to happen if it's not actually happening anyway. I think he might have actually said something about the fact that it's been confirmed somewhere or anything like that. Who cares, though? You know, he's going to be going for it anyway. It's just a matter of time. And so whenever you see stuff like this, just know he's actually doing it in a jokey manner. But it's not a joke. Dogecoin is going to be more and more adopted. And uh, why does it say one? Oh, okay, it's one Dogecoin. And um, right now you might be joking about it. I'm not so sure about the price of it. But it will continue to keep growing, at least if you ask me. I honestly do believe so. So something you should keep in the back of your head, you know, that, that Dogecoin is something which Elon Musk is going to keep pushing until there's like an Elon or a Tesla coin, I would say. And then Russia looking at $13 billion in tax collection if crypto bill is approved. I also wanted to stay here. If you think that governments are not really excited to get onto the crypto bandwagon, I think you're, uh, you're in for a little surprise pretty soon here, guys. Governments really want crypto they really really want it in their claws it's just a way off between a proper regulatory framework and getting the tax money you know it's like a, it's not a way off it's like a, it's, it's like a balance that you have to make because they really want those tax dollars but they really don't want to let go of a clear statement just quite yet because any clear statement that you bring can have so many negative consequences so that's again why the u.s i would say is splitting it up where the irs can think and decide about it one way where the sec can think about it another way and the I don't know, CFTC or whatever, you can think about it another way, or fin, FinCEN or whatever. Yeah, that's definitely something interesting to kind of think about. The fact that they really want the tax, but they don't want to let go of a statement because that makes things oh, so much more complicated. It's a long process. It's something we're going to have to deal with, but eventually it'll all be fixed. Right now, just excited about anything, guys. That was a little video on all these crypto. Hopefully, you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you press the like button and subscribe. And man, I think I gotta go on a little shopping spree because things are going down pretty severely again. Ethereum at 2700 juicy. Solana $90, juicy. Cardano at a dollar, juicy. Yeah. Polkadot $17. I gotta go on a little shopping spree. I really should. But I'm kind of waiting a little bit more for it to drop further. But maybe, you know, I shouldn't get too greedy. Maybe. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Take care, everybody. Have a nice day. And again, don't poop your pants. You guys know it.